Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Understanding Factorio. Oh, it is an alien planet. It is a bug planet. And you know what? We need to get our butts into some higher technology. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to let that keep doing the gun turret damage. Make us more effective at fighting the enemy. And we need to... What do we, what, what, what do we need? We need, we need? we need stuff. What do we need? We need, we need stuff. We need to manufacture... Oh, right, I need to, I'm trying to rush to construction robots, that's right, so. Engines, advanced electronics, uh, we're going to need plastics for that, aren't we? Where's, when, I know plastics are going to come into play. Yeah, advanced circuits. Right, right, okay. Right, yep, okay. Yep, plastic bars, yep, okay, we need, we can't waste any more time, we need the oil. All right, so the nearest oil patch and probably the safest one is right... Are those enemies right there? Uh, probably right over here. This area of very rich in resources. Three, four different kinds of resources all right here. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oil thingies. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll need some, some of these to store. I'll probably just make ten storage tanks to make sure we have a big reserve of oil. Oh good, those are done. Flammables are pretty nice. Oh, the flamethrower is such a sweet weapon. I really want this, but I don't have... I need blue science first. Uh, how do we go about getting blue science packs? I don't... Oh, uh, we need the laser turrets. Alright, so... we Yeah, we need a lot of stuff here. We really do. Advanced electronics. Yeah, we need that. Oh man, look at this sweet, sweet oil. Alright, let's clear these trees away. Sometimes I wonder if there's enough uh, oil around here to actually use it as energy in the form of solid fuel. Is that practical? Does anybody have some math in the comments down there on the use of oil at max conversion into solid fuel to power steam engines? Is that like a is that is that ever worth doing? If you have enough oil for it? Or should you just go ham on the, the solar panels and stuff? I guess space matters, right? If you're limited on space, you know? The oil fits in better in a limited space. Uh Advanced Electronics too. Sure. I need that for construction robots, so let's just, I guess, research the thing at the begin at the at the beginning, whatever it would be. Holy crap! These pump jacks take a while to build, don't they? Uh, can I start laying the pipes? I've got twelve of these. I can I can be doing this, I guess. All right. So here's the deal. Um, where do we want to put the oil processing? To make plastics, we need coal. And I guess I'll use this giant coal patch here and dedicate that to plastics. Okay, so it looks like the easiest thing may be to just take it to the right and run the... So I'm basically going to do a main bus for uh, liquids. Specifically, it's going to be lubricant, sulfuric acid, and... Uh... Is that it, actually? Just lubricant, sulfuric acid. Uh, we need to defend this area. Definitely going to defend it. And let's put these down here. Uh, how do I want to spaghetti? It's okay if your pump jacks are spaghetti, by the way. Because of the way these things are placed, you can't predict what formation you'll need to build in here. Uh, okay. So I'm going to extract from this coal here, and f if I'm extracting from this coal, do I want to run my pipes through it? I think not. So why don't we turn this this way, that maybe that way, give myself space here. Well, that's actually fine right there. All right. And that way, we're, we don't have anything, any pipes going into this coal field here. And then we could put the 
I can pretty much put the oil storage tanks maybe right here and then run all the oil in there and then have our handling right through here. Oh crap, where are we getting attacked now? I, I put a wall and some turrets there. You can see little, there's the wall and these two big blue blobs are the turrets right there and there's the wall around it. So I did reinforce that a bit. I figured it'd get attacked. Um, I did the same thing with this down here. You can see down here in the corner of the screen far away is a uh, three turrets and some wall there. And that little thing right there is a safe area for me to go run into if monsters are attacking. Alright. Man, this takes forever to build. I, I've forgotten how long these take to build. Okay, well while they're just farting around doing their thing, um, you know, I think this thing can safely just go right here as well. So we're just going to take the whole thing and just run it right off this. And that and then come up again like that probably up again one more time like that this is where we're probably gonna turn right yeah that that looks about right to me once I put down a bunch of oil storage tanks and they get full of oil I'm not uprooting them so I can move other stuff but I'm not moving those damn tanks go ahead and tell you that right now so I put the oil tanks right here and you bet your ass I'm putting a wall around them. And turrets around them as well. Almost. Actually, this 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 is going to sort out pretty nice here. That's not so bad right there. Uh, we're going to need pipes. More pipes. More pipes. All right. I kind of feel like putting the, the tanks more... I'll go ahead and pick you up. Let's put the tanks down first. Where do I want to put my oil tanks, huh? I kind of want to make 12 of them because I have an idea for a nice formation. But I can go ahead and start building that formation now. Um, I guess I'll put it here. So you can see these edges here. These right here where the uh, the pipes link up. Actually, that's a bad idea. Hold on a sec. Let me. Because if I try to, f uh, I mean they're already mixed anyway. It's not like a horrible idea. There we go. We're gonna link them up like this instead. So I think I'll have... I want more of those, actually. Alright, let's go handle the uh, pipes down here. there. Um, do I care about walking through the middle of this? I kind of, like, slightly, yes. You know, if, if, if it's possible to have that be a thing that can happen. Put a light right here for the lulls. Alright. Let's take these, run up here. So if I put this here, and run this as far as it'll go over here, is that enough space? Yeah, it is. Or do I just want to have all my eggs in one basket, so to speak? 
mean, what looks cooler, right? This would be my oil storage fields. Eh, I don't need to spread them out this far. But you guys saw what I was planning on doing, right? If you just do this, will they ever link up? I don't think they actually would, would they? Uh, so yeah, there's that. And do I want... Ah, uh, you know what? I think I actually do want to do that. do that. And then just repeat the same pattern here. At least these oil tanks don't take that long to build. Well, they're not necessarily oil tanks, are they? Sweet. Alright, and you bet your butt these are getting walled up. These are getting so walled up. Oh my god, these are getting so walled up. And if I group them into two, I don't, not that I think my base would ever be overrun, but, you know, let's not get cocky. Connects into there, and all of I basically while I get my act together, and and these are going to be defended. These are going to be so defended. There we go. Alright, I feel better. My oil reserves are nice and protected. Let's come over here and... Oh, I need more steel. Alright, let's go ahead and make the big electric poles now. And we don't have, we don't have enough. I gotta go back and get more. And let's keep going up the tech tree here. What's next? Lasers? Lasers. We want, we want laser turrets. Really, anything is fine, as long as we just keep doing the red and green researches and letting that build up. Alright, we basically need all the steel in here. I th think it's okay if I take that off for now and just let that build up to whatever it builds. I'm just going to take everything I can here. We need the steel. And I might raid the belt as well. I hate to do this, but eh, there we go. Alright, yeah, we need more of them. So let's start here at the... I guess I'll start down here. No, you know what? I might tear up all that stuff at some point. So I'm going to just come right off the like main generator here. We're going to go this way. And that's fine if it wants to link up there. Like, that's okay. Then we're going this way with it. Then we're going to go south. And I think I'm just going to follow the oil pipeline with the power. That's fine. Oh, look how nice that linked up.
And now that we're here, we can spread out a few of these medium electric poles. And that can get all of you guys. And this one will get, like, you up here. And then we can put down some gun turrets to defend them. Crap. Well, we'll put the we'll give them what ammunition we have. The main priority is to defend the oil pumps, not the turrets. Guess it doesn't matter if I need to walk through here, huh? Keep researching stuff. I'm busy, so I just keep it going. So that's going. Uh, hey, hey, yo, hold up. Um, there we go. I forgot I didn't put that down. And it looks like we've got enough space, we've got enough wall left over to wall off these. Cool. And now this thing's complaining about not getting power. You closer. Is there any way I can power all of these with just one? Alright, this thing can go here. Power... I guess this... these two. And then this one can go over here and power all of that stuff. Are these not right? Are these any particular reason these aren't running? Uh, what's not? Li oh, wait a minute. I never did this up here. Booyah. Oh, look at that. It's going to take a while to fill this up, but it will get filled up. So we can be accumulating oil while we're uh, setting up everything, and it's going to, it will take a little bit. There. That's more protected now. <laughs> All right. Uh, keep researching. Ooh, laser turrets. Sweet. Yeah, laser turrets are laser turrets are what I really need, and um, big, big old solar panel arrays. Okay, um, so I don't know how to do this off the top of my head. This is the one that I had to think a lot on, and let's go ahead and we need one, two, th I think three should work. And I will, I will try my very best to remember how to do the braiding on these. I wonder if I would save a little bit of... Uh oh. Oh, that's fighting down there. Let me run down here real quick since I'm right next to it and check. Yep, dead biters. That's what I like to see. These guys didn't even use up that much ammo. Nice. Alright, I was gonna go grab a bunch of green circuits to keep me from having to craft the stupid things. And that would save uh, you and me both some time. Where are them, where are them gears at? Dum, 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 dum. Give me them gears. Let me just running around like a fiend eating up green circuits. That should be enough. All right. I just ate up a bunch of gears and green circuits. Uh, let's make the... Oh, look at that! We saved a bunch of time. Yeah, that did save us some time. May as well go ahead and craft like 10 chemical plants because I'll need them. And I think I'll need some assemblers. Assemblers. And this is dreary right here. I guess I'll put some... Put 
a bit of light down. There we go, that's better. Yes. I don't know if you can tell, but my oil storage here makes me very happy. I'm, I'm seriously wondering if I should get rid of these burner mining drills and stone furnaces. Like all they do, all they're gonna do is just sit here and take up inventory. And this pistol, this pistol is worthless, as best I can tell. I really wish there was some sort of recycling thing you could just dump stuff into it and it would tear it apart into its base components. I mean, not that I'd build like exactly one of them probably, and then, you know, whatever. So oil takes a while to build up, for sure. And I guarantee you, I bet by the end of this, I will have taken over this entire desert and all the oil fields in it. Just all, all of them. I will be greedy. And I will like, uh-oh, we're being attacked. Oh, oh shit, that's my main, that's my main base. I gotta, oh, hold on a sec, let me run back over here. Oh man, you know what I really miss is the, um... The power armor legs, the run the run speed boost things. What was attacked over here? And is everything okay? Anybody see any biter carcasses? This guy's got five kills. That guy's got two kills. Well, tell you what. Oh, there they are. Wow, that's that's like my main bus. That's not cool that they're that they're this close. Well, you know what? I'm going to put this turret right here to defend my main bus as soon as it gets built. There we go. And we'll give it the last of my ammo and I'll pick up some on my way back over. Give me that steel. Oh my god, look at all the steel! Give me that iron. Give me some of that as well. Yes! Resources, yes! Uh... I want to test something. Let me test something. So C is the manual fire. Is it gone? Yes! Stupid pistol. Yay. Alright, now I've figured out how to make trash cans in this game. It's amazing. It felt it did feel a little wasteful to do that, but I don't I, I don't really care. I, I'm so I was so sick of seeing those in my inventory. Alright. So our processing is gonna be here, I think. Let's go ahead and access a pipe going down from here. Do I want to keep the smooth wall just and do that with it? Is it that important to me? Maybe. It is, yeah. Hold on a sec. Stupid. That's better. Isn't that better, guys? Alright, cool. So oil is going out there. Not very fast. Not very fast at all. But that's okay. Alright, and now, 
here's the deal. So towards the back, we'll need to input water and uh, oil. And I don't really remember. Well, these need to have plenty of enough space. One, two, one, two, three. Let's put three spaces between them, I guess. Uh, just to hopefully I have that I have enough. That seems to line up with the these uh these pretty well. So that's not bad. Oh really? Are you kidding me? Alright. So where's your water input? I don't remember. Oh crap, I don't remember. Uh let's set these to basic oil processing. Is it on the left? It's on the left, correct? All right, so here's how you braid oil, uh, the, the liquid outputs. It's actually not that hard. It looks complicated, but just trust me, it's really not that hard. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I should research. Probably better laser turret damage. Oh, wait, no, I need advanced oil processing, like, as soon as friggin' possible. Oh, I need blue science first. Okay, whatever, just do the laser turrets then. Alright, uh, here's how you braid the oil. Let me get some water. Uh, where's a nice, uh, where's a pump? Cool. Alright, so... Let's run some water over here. Damn. Uh, I basically just want to make the water appear over here. right here actually so there's our water cool uh right so which one of these is oil? That one? And this one might be the water. Oh, I hope this is correct. I, I mean, if it's if I'm wrong, um, I'll know when I upgrade to advanced oil processing, and I can just switch it. It's not a huge deal. All right, so basically, you want to make something like this formation. And for the ones that have three, you, you're going to do something like just this. this like a cell phone reception bar or staircase formation this is super simple if I showed you this if I showed you the finished product you'd be like oh it looks so complicated in there but it's it's trust me it's not it's actually this is actually really easy um, let's get to advanced oil process oh, frick me I keep wanting to do that and I, I can't uh, all right, let's get to the construction robots, because I want those back. They're cool. Yeah, these. Research engines. I need engines. Okay, two engines. All right, here we go. So here's the oil, and this is really easy. The underground pipes are very important for this, because I'm just going to make a crap ton of them. Uh, but you do this, and then that. And then do this, and then that, and then you do this, and then you do that. Did you see that? Isn't that neat? So the underground pipes help to keep the stuff from trying to flow into each other. So for the water, you do this, and then that, and then this, and then that, and then this, and then... Th well, that's it. Alright. See how easy that was? And over here, 
So the oil flows in, and now it's getting processed into all this stuff. Oh, shit! 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 Oh, that... Ooh. I was in the middle of, like, getting in my jive into... into... into explaining the... Uh, into explaining the oil processing and how to braid the pipes together, and then a bunch of biters run in, and I crap my pants. That's That actually scared me. <laughs> um... Right, so I'm gonna chop down these and damn biters. Why is that tree hurt right there? That's weird. All right, I obviously need to make myself some uh, some of these. You turn those out for me real quick while I finish up the pipes. Thank you, Mr. Factory. Alright. So this is the uh, same thing. So you have a pipe here, and it goes down. And then you have a pipe here, and it goes down. And then this one goes down, comes up, goes down, and then, well, you don't even need that last part. And then the petroleum here, well, this is my, my factory's in the way. All right, you can finish this last one, and then I'm going to pick you up. Cool. All right. That's not happening again. That was bullcrap. Put down some gun turrets there. Stupid biters. All right. Uh, so we're going to link this chain here. Boom, boom, and boom. You guys see? And you could just repeat this forever going in a direction. Uh, so that's the very basics of pipe braiding. And this type of formation holds true and is useful for um, anywhere else you need to go with these. It really is. All right, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take from the middle one, I think. And we're gonna come off and do like that. And I think I'll leave some room in the middle here. Actually, no. I'm gonna spread them out some more. I would like. I think I would like my heavy oil on the bus to be up here, my light oil to be on the bus down here, and then the petroleum to be on the bus down here. And so that's spread them out and giving me more space to work with. If I want to, I can get them closer to each other if I really wanted to. Uh. So that's it for the, the actual processing facilities. So the way this works is it just takes in oil and it spits out uh, it spits out heavy oil and then it spits out light oil and then petroleum. And it's not in, like it has to spit out all of these. So what you want to do is have some have some uh, your base under attack by aliens is the first thing you want to do. And then I think I'll do two tanks worth of each as storage here. So we'll do, this one will be heavy oil. This one will be the light oil. And this one will be the petroleum, which I'm actually going to keep in line here so it stays all like neat and shit. So these will start filling up as the oil gets processed. And my urge to put a wall around these is rising. I think we're okay. I think we're okay now. I think we're okay. So this will take 20 crude oil at a time and just do that with it. And these pipes will start filling up. And so that can be processing again while we're getting all this set up. And I think with that, I've hit the 34 minute mark. I might take 
a break. I think that might be a good time for a break. I'll come over here and put uh, put some electricity around here and throw some lights down. There we go. Yeah, put some lights in here as well. Make it not so gloomy. Cool. So that's the start of oil processing. So you get your pump jacks. Here it all here it all is on one screen. My pump jacks are over there, neatly piping it in underground pipes so that you can run through this area or drive through it or whatever. Um, you probably don't need as generous storage tanks as me, but I'm planning on taking oil from like there, 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 and there, and there. Yeah, we're going to have a war for oil here. But, uh, yeah, you, you probably could add, like, maybe four oil storage tanks instead of, you know, my four, eight, twelve, twenty-four of them. I went a little gratuitous. But, hey, it's whatever. I, I think it looks cool. It makes me really happy to just, like, oh, yes, all the oil. Yes. Um, the reason I like oil so much in this game is it's the key to the end game, basically, the specifically plastic. Because without plastic, you don't have jack crap. You need plastic. And you make oil into plastic with coal. And so that's the main thing. Also, batteries. You need sulfuric acid from oil processing to make... Uh, to make batteries. And without batteries, your ability to have a green electric grid... Um, just doesn't exist. You need the batteries. Uh, so those are the plastic and the batteries are really vital components for everything in the end game. Uh, and that's why this is such an important barrier to push through. So there's your braiding setup. You just do the staircase formation and then just run the underground pipes and link each one up. And that links them all together, and then you can just pull off of them. Like there, and there, and there. And this will be a main bus with the, these different liquids here. And I'll probably I'll pull water down into it as well. And I may... Uh, I'll need... I'll need... Uh, let me put down a chemical plant. I'll need coal, and I will need water, and I will need iron and copper plates, and more iron plates. So yeah, I'm going to need iron, copper, and coal down here, the, all the basics. And I may even, con I may consider, rather than running something from the main bus all the way over here, I may consider having a dedicated copper, coal, and iron smelting furnaces. Just a few of them here. Just a few. You don't need that much. It doesn't take a huge amount um, to feed the, the chemical plants. You need, you need the copper and you need the iron and the coal to feed the chemical plants, but it, it mostly takes coal. Coal's the big one. Because um, if you look at the numbers, it's one iron, one copper, and then this water or whatever, and then coal. But you'll need to spit out a lot of coal. Uh, pardon me, a lot of plastic. You'll need lots of plastic. I mean, you'll need lots of batteries too, but not like as many. And then there's the sulfur um, and iron again. Uh, but the sulfur goes a long way. So probably we need a little bit of copper a uh, medium amount of iron, and then uh, a ton of coal. As much coal as I can ram in here. So that's probably what we'll set up next episode. Until then, I hope you enjoyed watching me get startled by biters in this game. It's the, maybe the first time that's happened. Like, I've just been talking, and then suddenly enemies in my base. Uh, but anyway, I hope you had fun. I did. Uh, that was really cool. I love getting... I love working with the chemicals and the uh, liquids. I like... 
I like these more than the conveyor belts. It's I have I'll have a lot of fun setting these up. Alright, I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy. <laughs>